For our next topic of discussion, we're, we're going to talk about what's called an Eulerian circuit. This is a walk around the tree which traverses each edge of the graph once and only once. So let's see if we can try to find one of these within this graph. So we will start at V1 and we're gonna to try to go over every single edge. So we go down here, maybe we go over here, over here, over here, over here. We go down here, but now we can see we've sort of trapped ourselves because we'd have to reuse an edge here. And we are not allowed to do that. So we are gonna go down, up, Hmm, I dug myself a hole again. I'm kind of doomed, or what I do from V1, if I go to V6, I have to leave it, and I can't get back to it and then leave again. Hmm. It turns out we have a theorem for this, which says that you have one of these if and only if the degree of every vertex is even. So we don't even need to think about whether we have one really. With this theorem, you can very easily See if you have an Eulerian circuit. The degree of the top left vertex is three. Bam, done. Does not have an Eulerian circuit. That's kind of convenient. Let's look at some of these other vertices. Four, three, three, four, four, oops, <laughs> four, three. So there are a couple of problematic vertices, in particular, the ones that have three. So this graph does not have an Eulerian circuit, but by contrast, a very similar graph in which I've added two edges, one that connects V1 to V3 and one that connects V6 to V8. This should have one. Let's see if we can find it. So we're going to try to trace this first. What if we go down, go in a big circle like this, go over here, go up there, go down there. I can revisit a vertex, but not an edge. Go up here, go down there, go up there, go mm, down, over, over, there, 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 and we end up back where we started. So it looks like I found one. Writing this out can be a bit tedious. Usually I will just highlight it uh, or number the edges. So I might say I go one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then 10, then 11, then 12, then 13, then 14, then 15, then 16. And if we trace through that now to make sure it is valid, we go one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then 10, then 11, then 12, then 13, then 14, then 15, then 60. So covers every single edge. This does have an Eulerian circuit. Finding these is usually not that difficult, although it does involve a sort of puzzle to solve, which I find somewhat enjoyable. There are algorithms for finding these. We will talk a tiny bit about those potentially before the end of this lecture sequence, but not a lot. I'll leave it for you to try to discover how can we find such a thing before I talk about it. So we'll delay posting any videos on that for a little bit.